What is good, YouTube? This is the FF Dynasty coming at you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below with either love or if you're feeling like some hate, throw some shade down there. Either way, it all greatly helps us out so we can keep bringing you new content. All right, well, what would you say is the most important skill set or, or some of the most some of the important skill sets that that you that you're looking for to transfer to the next level where this guy has um, quick my great micro movement or something and you're like all right does that <laughs> does that guy that that's what i need to see to transfer to the next level I, like is there are there specific right. traits that you really hone in on that you're like that's what i'm looking for at the next level of uh, things that are going to immediately translate movement drink i love it yeah <laughs> oh hey like you try to speak my language man i really appreciate that in the ecosystem uh, for, for, me, for me i look at oh i like that i like that word um, for me, it's more looking at what the what's the demand of the position, right? Like, what does each position on the field demand? You know, an offensive lineman demands something vastly different than a running back. So, like for running backs, for example, um, running backs demand to have great recognition in short areas, and they have to be able to manipulate defenders at the second level with their eyes and their feet, um, and kind of move people as chess pieces. You know, guys in the NFL who are really good at this, like Le'Veon Bell, like prime Le'Veon Bell was unbelievable at manipulating linebackers at the second level. He wasn't the fastest guy in the world, didn't have the best acceleration qualities, but he was able to kind of create his own lanes in that sense, and that's super, super important. And another thing that the position of running back demands is how well do people take contact? You know, how well does this back take contact or how poorly do they take contact? That's important. Huge. You know, we – yeah, huge. I mean, they're, they're contacted on every play um, nearly. So it's, you know – you look at your bell cow backs, you know, guys like Ezekiel Elliott are contacted 23 times a game or more. They have to be extremely adept at taking contact and have to do so efficiently and have, have ways of navigating contact and, um, and avoiding it. And for a running back, that's super essential, especially if you look at the collegiate ranks, the NFL ranks, players in the NFL are much faster. They're smarter. They're more intricate schemes. So it's, you know, you, you have to hone in on that type of thing uh, to be a successful running back in the NFL. Um, as far as receivers, you know, how do you disguise routes? You know, how fast do you play? We see a lot of receivers, especially really fast receivers, struggle to, um, to catch up to the, the speed of the NFL game from a processing standpoint. You know, look at guys like Prashad Perriman, you know, Darius Hayward Bay, you know, some of your big burners in the past six, seven years that haven't really, they didn't really catch fire. It, the, them, you know, being able to look at the processing part of the game and, and slowing that part down for them is massive. And disguising routes, how do you disguise routes? Um, you know, mashes of manipulation like Jerry Judy. Uh, he's super fun to watch. Uh, just how can you disguise, you know, route A, make it look like route B. Right. That's and what that's, that's all about. That's, that's extremely different important. Different leans, you know, different just – yeah, leaning on somebody like you're gonna go one way and and pushing out the other way. At the, I'm yeah, feeling exactly. you on that for sure. For sure, and, and that's important. You know, you know, do receivers win after um, win after the catch? That's important too. Um, but like I think you said earlier, uh, Jay, you said, um, God, what was it? I was like going upstairs and getting the ball. Oh, high, high pointing. pointing that. Yeah, high pointing. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Drink. That, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but that's, that's important, man. Do do receivers play small? Do they play big? Um, you know, it's one thing to be 6'4", 220, but do you play like you're 6'4", 220? Yeah. Um, and that makes a big difference for NFL teams and they're evaluating you on what you can do as a red zone presence. Yeah, I don't, nobody nobody wants that big soft dude. <laughs> no. That's, plus you're trying to cuddle, but that doesn't have anything to do with football, you know? <laughs> All right, well we're going to we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be back with uh, some some of Angelo's thoughts on the combine, what he uses it for, uh, how much credence does he give it things along those lines. <laughs> 